Hundreds of security pros gathered at SC Congress in Toronto last week. We spoke to security guru and author Wynne Schwartow about the changing threat landscape. Every new technology introduces an additional layer of risk that needs to be evaluated. Uh, the big one that came up five, six, eight years ago, Facebook and social networking, uh, quite clearly is a huge risk uh, for the organization, both from a security standpoint and an image and perception standpoint. Uh, when you look at any new technology that comes out, especially those that are adapted in the organization at the enterprise level, tend to be very functionally oriented to be able to enable additional business processes and make users' jobs easier, but they tend to also add high degrees of complexity to the organization, and complexity is the, uh, it's the bane of security. So how do you manage that balance? And I think, uh, unfortunately, business processes tend to attempt to deploy technology well before uh, it's properly baked and viewed from a security impact upon the organization. It, it, Shakespeare said, kill all the lawyers. IT professionals say, kill all the users. <sighs> Even after really good security awareness training, even after behavioral uh, modification training and all of that, a well-crafted social engineering attack is going to work between 28 and 42 percent of the time based upon some recent studies. So users, while we're trying to train them, are still going to be the greatest hostile injection point in your organization almost no matter what you do. And I had a discussion uh, with some folks uh, yesterday about why do we even give them computers? Why should they not just have a very pretty dumb terminal and take away all of the risk factors technically and let's redefine what the endpoint looks like? And uh, I've seen some impetus in that direction, but I don't think that's going to take hold for a while. From SC Congress in Toronto, I'm Dave Webb.